John here guys and today we're talking about the gnarly FPV Primo once again but I have changed it up like I said I have installed these happy model 1102 10,000 kV motors from the Modula HD <laughs> Now, Happy Model is known throughout the community for doing um, a few scandalous, scummy, and thievy type things, but even they do something right every once in a while. And these motors are one of those things. They are fairly cheap. You can get them for about 40 bucks a set. Cheaper if you find them on sale. And the best thing about them is that the King Kong 65 millimeter prop fits directly on there because it has a one millimeter shaft uh, who would have thunk it is that the secret to getting perfectly great looking footage uh, because your props actually fit yes no drilling um, flossing uh, a lot of people are saying you if you drill the hole too big to fit on the 1.5 millimeter shaft you can throw floss in there i just i cannot get them to stay on um now, I do wish that the wire was a little bit longer. They fit directly into plug-in, but as you can see, they're so short, they have to go directly out there. I wish they could go along the arm, but it's not long enough. But it is just um, long enough to be able to fit. So how does it fly with these? Well, compared to the 0803 trash can motors that I had on prior to this, this is definitely a bump in performance, but it is not twice as fast i would say speed is top speed is is not that much change maybe 10 percent more um power down low is definitely more maybe 20 percent more though not a huge amount the biggest difference though is the flight time and the smoothness the flight time is increased by almost a factor of two it's almost double the flight time it's funny that these motors are a little bit heavier and a little bit larger you would think that they would use up more juice but i guess the 0803s are just too small and so your flight time is really suffering there so by installing these uh your flight time almost doubles i was getting pretty short flights with the uh, trash can motors pretty 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 Why? pretty good now these have the same exact mounting holes though as those trash can motors so they fit perfectly and because of the gnarly primos recessed holes right here you will have no problems with shaky motors or screws falling out like you sometimes do with some of the other frames that are not purpose built for this so uh, for a three hole like an amax or a four hole like the hyperlite i'm still going to suggest a toothpick but if you want a direct transfer this is the key. I was saying that the trash can was a great swap and it is, but these motors are even better now. These are the motors that come with the scandalous release that just came out from Happy Model, the Sailfly, uh, which, you know, as much as I would like to call it the Failfly, it's pretty much almost this exact same build. Now I'm using a better camera, the EOS 2 4x3 version, um, and a, I think possibly a better VTX. I'm not sure if they're using the 200 milliwatt on the Sailfly. I don't think that they are. This is a much better frame. It'll cost you maybe $15 more to put this kit together, but it's definitely worth it. Don't mess with the Sailfly, guys. Go get yourself a Gnarly Primo. Look at how cool this thing is. And you can see it's not as clean as it was in the last video. And that's because I have been flying the junk out of this thing. And it has survived multiple crashes, multiple hits. This is such a fun combination. And while it's not quite as much performance as, say, the Hyperlite motors or the AMAX motors, it's much easier of a build and a setup you just plug these things together no soldering required no prop um enlarging required now i do believe that there are some uh, props that are about to drop that are 1.5 but how's that going to work for the Amax? Because people are saying the Amax is really more like a 1.4. So is it still going to be press fit? Are you still going to have to use dental floss to get everything to fit in there? I'm not sure, but these motors are a safe bet. And for things like these small little things, you want a good amount of performance, but you don't necessarily need the maximum amount of performance if it introduces a series of headaches, like dealing with soldering motors and all kinds of stuff like that. So if you want a, a super high performance, easy to set up solution here it is now let me quit blathering and let's get to the footage of this thing check out the additional time that i'm able to stay on the throttle um the speed the performance it's everything that the trash can 0803 motors were just amplified and with more flight time and when you're flying these things that are tremendously fun you definitely want as much flight time as possible here we go thanks guys